Hello, what's up and welcome to this channel. In today's video guys, I'm gonna show you how to play Pokemon Battle Rouge on your Android device and use customized Pokemon so that you can use custom custom passes that are available uh, in the game. It's a future, but unfortunately to do that, you need to um, actually, and if you would have the real Wii, you, sh you, ha you should have a DS game and you should connect it to it and then it's only could be possible. But I'm gonna show you how to do that and uh, before we start the tutorial, I want to let you know that I do stream on Twitch every Friday, Saturday and Sunday, guys. Uh, it's European time. I live in Sweden. And uh, yeah, that's what it, that was it. Come and check me out, guys. And ask me a question in case you have some. I will be more than happy to ask, answer them. And okay, now let's go to the tutorial. Before we start the tutorial and go to, uh, go to my desktop, I want to let you know the first thing of all, of all, of course, is you're gonna need your Android phone. That's mine. And you're gonna need a USB device for the tutorial. If you have those two, two things, you're good to go. And in case some of you are gonna ask, oh, but Kazait. Oh, Kazait. This is my Twitch name, by the way. Uh, oh, Amy, uh, um, how do I, gonna, I don't have a USB cable, right? Just use the USB cable that comes with your charger. Take it out and you're good to go. So with that out of the way, let's hop straight up to my desktop and let me show you how to First do it. First step is to go to your Play Store. Go to the search bar and write in GameCube emulator. Go for the GameCube emulator and install it. Just like that. Wait a little bit. And open it. Um, it will ask you if you allow the emulator to access your photos, media, and files on your device. Say yes, allow, and enable usage statistic reporting. It's up to you, but I always say yes. Help the team. But we're gonna go to the next step where we're gonna install the game. There, there's, there are two. There are two methods. The one method you can download it directly from your phone. Second method is that you do it from your computer, download the game, the ROM, and then connect your phone to the computer and put it from there directly to the phone. That is actually easier and better, in my opinion. So we're going to do that. That's going to be the next step. But before we go, click on this uh, chip thing, go to advanced settings, and go to emulate CPU clock speed and drop it down, it's going to be on 100 on your device, drop it down to 50 and that will enhance your gameplay performance. So see you on my, see you on the next step. As we are on my desktop right now guys, the second step is we're going to first modify, we're going to need those three, three um, files. We're going to need Pokemon Battle Revolution save file, we're going to need the game, and we're going to need the uh, uh, PK Hex, the program that we can customize our Pokemon or should I say our save file. So before we putting the save file in the game in our phone, we need to first customize our save file. So the first thing you do, you open PKHex like that. And in case it tells you that's dangerous and whatnot, click on more info and uh, run anyway. Anyways, this is what you do. You open this first, then you go to Pokemon Revolution save file. I'm going to leave the link in the description below for the save file and the PKHex program, but the game, unfortunately, I cannot provide you. So don't even ask me because I don't support pir piracy. Thank you. So we're going to put the save file in the in the um, PKHex program and we'll show you all the save file. So what you need to do now, as I said, we're going to first modify our um, Pokemon and then we're going to put it in for the sake of the tutorial. So let's see, last time we had Articuno, right? This time we're going to get the Zapdos. There you go, Zapdos. And we're just not going to fine tune anything. We're just going to, so that you can see it. Yeah, we're going to make it shiny. Yeah, there we go. Let's say it's not shiny, just click on the star. It's going to be shiny. If you want to nickname it, we're going to nickname it Emu. Emu Gaming. There you go. And yeah, as I said, we're not going to go to... Um, Let's see, just gonna take Timmy here, just for the people that gonna be triggered and shits, making it shiny as I said. Nickname, stats, just randomize, you can put perfect in everything. 
Now the attacks here we want to get, we, you can go crazy or you can go legitimately on it. It depends on the game not going to tell you. So we're going to go for flamethrower because um, why not? Flamethrower, thunderbolt. We're going to go for stealth rocks because this Zapdos is new meta guys. Nobody will extend and fake out for VGC baby. All right, you got fake out, stealth rock, thunderbolt and flamethrower. Come on, man. This what? All right. And then what you want to do to actually implement this uh, Pokemon to your save file, just click, right click on the Abamus now or the Pokemon that you don't want and that was set and you're good to go. Oh, it's level 13. Really? Hold up. Let me make it level 100. There we go. And then set it in. Now it's level 100, right? I think so. Let's see. View it. Yeah, it's level 100, okay. We're gonna put that again, and then if you if you download everything and you modify every Pokemon that you want to, as an example, you go to File, Export Save, Export Main, click on the save file that you want to put in your uh, phone after that, save it, save it, and okay. Then you're done, you close it. Now the hardest part is done now. So if you connect it, you will hear this notification sound and you go on the notification no data transfer file transfer and transfer photos so what you want to select is file transfer and as you might see it opens like that so the first the where where you now you ask me where do i put the um the pokemon battle revolution um, game easy just open it and yeah you can put it on your desktop if you want if you want easy or just you drag it directly. So the first thing is the Pokemon Battle Revolution, I would put it in downloads, the game in downloads, just like that. It's gonna take a little bit of time, we're gonna wait for it. It's done. So as I told you, the game is in in downloads. All right. Now the save file is a little bit tricky. So before we put in actually the save file, guys, we have we're gonna hop back to our phone and actually start the game. Right? We're gonna start the game and we're gonna save. On our phone because if you don't do that if you don't do that guys let me show what's going to happen let's say we go to emulator uh, emu, um, dolphin emulator you go to your Wii and where you have to go then is to title and you have to go to the 0001 00 and then 1000000 right and then you go to this folder and then you go to content and uh, no, sorry not to content you go to data when you go there to data guys if you don't start the game and make us adjust a save, not don't save on your phone. This genius PVR Battle Revolution folder not going to be available, and you will not see, you will not able to put your save file in. So what you need to do, as I told you, so now I'm gonna stop here this recording and hop to my phone and show you what you need to do. See you and, there. And I told you we should we go now, we go now directly to the Dolphin Emulator, and. You're going to Wii because you want to play the Pokemon Battle Revolution. It's a Wii game, right? So if you don't see it on your phone, guys, just click on this plus purple plus button and go to downloads because if you remember, we put it on down in downloads and you just press select this directory and the game will sh the bleh, sorry and the game will show up. Just start it. There we go. Oh, I just have to click. Lol. I'm like, I'm like, why is the game not starting? Why is the game not starting? You see? I'm gonna turn off a little bit. Don't turn that little blow this audio. Even more. There we go. Just click start. Oh, I already have a save file in there. 
anyways so what you need to do guys just go in into the game just like I do it doesn't matter now if I have safe file or not so what you need to on your part guys probably you're gonna not have a save file and you have to put new so just go here save and just save the game take yes wait for the game it's gonna save uh, now if you just quit so so what we did right now guys is we have created a save file and automatically we're creating a save file just if you even started a new game on your phone right now we're creating a save file, we're creating the same time the Genius PVR save uh, folder so that we can put our modified save file in the phone. We did all that guys, I showed you right now here, you're good to go and the rest is really um, from your PC and then I will show you the result. So see you there. Alright guys, as I showed you on my phone, once again now, we did, we, we did go to Dolphin Emulator, we located the game. We started the game and it depends on if you had a save file that's good if you didn't have one and you started you you never played the game and you just did what i did as i told you it's just save just save the game don't progress in it or at ever save the game if you already done all that then you're good so next step is just connect your phone again to your pc you will hear this popping here go to your notification on your phone as I sold you and uh, select file transfer all right and now we don't need any more PK hex put it to the side we don't need the game because we already put the game in the phone so the last item we're gonna need is I'll try to say file is the Pokemon battle save file that we have modified you can drag it oops you can drag it directly in or you can put it here I, I love to put it right here so I can see it right here so now we're going to navigate from your uh, to, let's see, Dolphin Emulator, Wii U guys as I showed you, title, you go to 000100 right here, you go to this one, then you go to data, and then you will see banner bin and then with Genesis PVR. So the only thing we're going to do guys is just drag this file inside here. And it will ask you there's already a file with the same name that's because I did it but if you don't you anyways if it doesn't tell you anything then you're good to go but if it tells you just replace it close this folder and you're actually good to go so now the last thing is guys I just gonna go back to my phone and show you that's actually work and that's all you need to do to actually play Pokemon Bad Revolution on your phone with customized Pokemon that's all to it that's all you need to do and uh, yeah and one thing i want to mention guys that i do stream on twitch every saturday friday su friday saturday and sunday guys at european time probably at uh, i'm living in sweden i do stream on uh, most likely on 11 pm but uh, yeah that's most time i do stream from there to like two three hours uh, come and say hello and ask me uh, questions about things and stuff and with that all said guys let's see you uh, on my phone and show you the result see you there